Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our third live stream concert. Um, we are having so much fun as an ensemble, and we hope you enjoyed this first piece that we had, which was the Ballet of the Unhatched Chicks um, by Modus Mazursky from his pictures and an exhibition. Um, and our own Aaron Cameron went ahead and arranged that for us. It was a lot of fun, although offbeats with grace notes, I don't know. Uh, it's still up for debate. Um, and the artwork that you saw was actually the um, picture or painting um, that uh, Mazorski based this movement on. Um, so this concert is a fun one because it is a concert of finales. Um, everything from this point on that you're going to hear is a finale or contains a finale. Um, so it's a lot of fast-paced, fun stuff, but it's also a little taxing. Um, so the next piece that we're going to perform is the last three movements of our arrangement of Carnival, Carnival of the Animals. Um, and we're going to bring in our great colleague, Dr. Ed Owen, to join us as narrator. And our three movements are fossils. And a fossil is not really an animal, but they used to be animals, so I think that's why uh, Sensons decided to have them join in. We have the swan, which is gonna feature English horn, and then the finale, where you'll hear um, different bits and pieces from the other two sets that we played in our previous concerts. So enjoy. Fossils. At midnight in the museum hall, the fossils gathered for a ball. There were no drums or saxophones, but just the clatter of their bones. A rolling, rattling, carefree circus of mammoth polkas and mazurkas. Pterodactyls and brontosauruses sang ghostly prehistoric choruses. Amid the mastodonic wassail, I caught the eye of one small fossil. Cheer up, sad world, he said and winked. It's kind of fun to be extinct. <laughs>
now we reach the grand finale. Animali Carnavali. Noises new to sea and land issue from a skillful band. All the strings contort their features imitating crawly creatures. All the brasses look like mumps from blowing oompa oompa pumps. In outdoing Barnum and Bailey and Ringling, Saisons has done a miraculous thingling. Thank you. 
I am so excited to introduce the next piece on our program, Bantam Winds by composer Selka Ojekengis. This piece is special to all of us because uh, it is one of our very first um, but I'm personally extremely excited about it because Selka and I have been friends since I was in middle school. Um, so who better to introduce the details of this piece to you than the composer herself? So here is Selka Ojekengis. Hello, my name is Selka Ojekengis and I'm the composer of Bantam Winds, a piece written for the group, The Bantam Winds. I was super thrilled to be asked to write this piece by my friend, Dr. Aaron Cameron. Uh, we had been meaning to collaborate for a while. We go way back, we went back, um, go all, back all the way to high school where we were both super music nerds and now we've gone our separate ways. I'm currently based in Los Angeles and excitingly, um, Aaron is based in Jonesboro as a professor and I'm super happy for her. Um, I'm excited to present this piece to you. This piece is about birds. That's what the Bantam Winds trio requested. Um, and I love birds, as you can see. This is my parrot, Lulu. She is a cute African Senegal parrot, a rescue, so she's a little bit naked. But it would be important to have her on camera for, the, for this recording. Uh, the piece goes through three movements. The first movement is um, called Morning Bantams, I believe. And um, it's supposed to be all, reflect all the sounds, the tittering sounds of birds. Um, the, uh, the bass clarinet plays some very jazzy riffs while the uh, oboe tits around on um, some cute repeated rhythms and the French horn plays a rooster crow um, along with other things. And then it turns into a cute little jazzy number. Well, sort of. <laughs> It's supposed to sound very improvisational, and that was the goal. I wanted it to be very freeing and very repetitive, so that was the goal behind that piece. Um, the second movement is called Feather, and it's supposed to sound, it's based on the harmonic series, and it's supposed to sound like uh, something feathering off, based on one fundamental, and then it goes up the, goes up the harmonic series of different notes, including uh, B flat and C um, on the bass clarinet, and it uses the cool extended technique of spectral sweeps, in which the bass clarinet overblows a low note and creates all the fundamentals up on top. I'll be very excited to hear how that sounds. Finally, the last piece, the last movement, is called, uh, I think, Six Wired Steps, and it's based on the bird of paradise, also known as Carolus parotia. They have six different steps um, they will be listed in the program notes, but uh, there are six different steps and they're also written in the music. It's basically a very long, hours long um, mating ritual that, well maybe not hours, maybe more like almost an hour long mating ritual to entrance a female that is quite involved and quite silly sounding and that was the goal behind that piece. So anyway, please enjoy. Um, hello to Jonesboro and the community there. And thank you so much for having me and for having me write this piece. <laughs> 